Hi, I'm Ed Fritz, owner of AtticFoil.com, and in this video I'm going to explain why every home in mixed or cold climates should install a radiant barrier directly over the attic insulation. Bang for the buck, it's one of the best do-it-yourself projects you can do to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient. My goal is that after you watch this video, you'll want to share this information with your friends and neighbors to help them too. I'm going to briefly explain how a radiant barrier helps in the summer to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient. But the main purpose of this video is to help people who live in mixed or cold climates understand how a radiant barrier helps them. I'm also going to explain something that most people, even in the radiant barrier business, don't fully understand. And that's exactly how a radiant barrier, when installed over the attic insulation, the mechanics of how it helps keep your home more comfortable and energy efficient when it gets colder and the air temperature drops. Here's a hint. It's not so much from reducing radiant heat loss. It's from the single biggest energy efficiency mistake we make when we build homes. It's something we've been doing for over 50 years. I promise you're going to have an aha moment and understand why you need to install a radiant barrier in your attic. First, let me briefly explain how radiant barrier helps in the summer. The sun emits radiant heat. Radiant heat travels at the speed of light until it's absorbed by your roof. Then that roof radiates heat across the attic. Radiant heat is heat transfer by non-contact, basically heat from one object transferring to another object without the two ever touching. And here's an example. If you put your hand a couple inches away from a hot iron, eventually your hand is going to get hot without the two ever touching. This is radiant heat. Anything that gets hot will emit radiant heat. Different products absorb or reflect heat at different rates. This is called the reflectivity of a product. The higher the reflectivity, the less radiant heat it will absorb. Essentially, the object will stay cooler. Most products absorb radiant heat. In fact, most roofing products are great at absorbing radiant heat. A typical dark colored roof can easily reach over 160 degrees on a hot summer day. Once this happens, the, start, the roof starts emitting radiant heat just like the iron. The next thing you know, the insulation, which is supposed to keep the heat out, starts to heat up just like your hand near the iron. It's common for the top surface temperature of the attic insulation to reach over 125 degrees. This happens even at lower temperatures. For example, on a 70 degree day, the roof might be 110 degrees, but the top of the insulation could be 100 degrees. This is why you often need to run your air conditioner in the afternoon on days that are considered mild or moderate, outside maybe in the 60 to 75 degree range. How do we keep the attic insulation cooler? Simple, by installing a radiant barrier directly on top of the attic insulation. When you do this, the radiant heat that's coming off the roof is going to be reflected back. When you do that, the top surface temperature is going to be close to ambient or the outside temperature. Now the air actually inside the attic may be a little warmer, but what we're really worried about is that top surface temperature. That's what drives the heat into the home. Pure aluminum has a reflectivity rating of 97%, so it reflects virtually all the radiant heat. Only silver and gold reflect more at 98 and 99%. Want to try this yourself? Take a hot iron and put your hand a couple inches away and see how long it takes before you've got to pull it away from it getting too hot. Then take a piece of either regular kitchen foil or get a free sample of attic foil and put it between the hot iron and your hand. You should be able to keep your hand there for as long as you want since the attic foil radiant barrier is reflecting 97% of the radiant heat. Now if you have an infrared thermometer, try this with a piece of wood with and without a piece of foil between the iron and the wood. The wood should get hotter without the foil. This wood represents the wood on your attic floor. Your attic is no different. Putting attic foil radiant barrier directly on top of the attic insulation will make your insulation cooler just like your hand. Less heat into the attic insulation means your home will be more comfortable and energy efficient. Also, a lot of days in the spring and the fall when you normally have to run your air conditioning in the afternoon, you'll notice that once you install the radiant barrier, you'll be able to go all day without turning the air conditioner on. What about installing radiant barrier in cold climates? Installing a radiant barrier directly over your attic insulation will help some 
at reducing radiant heat loss. The problem, quite honestly, is there's not that much radiant heat loss to begin with. But here's the big secret that most people, people who even work in the insulation and radiant barrier business, just don't get. Radiant barrier helps by making your existing attic insulation even more effective. Let me explain. In a typical ventilated attic, you have the roof, the attic space, then the attic insulation, then sheetrock above the living space. In a ventilated attic, you have the air entering your soffits and leaving through the exhaust vents to help remove moisture and to keep the roof cold to prevent ice damming. So basically, the only thing between the warm living space and the cold outside air in the attic is the layer of sheetrock and the layer of insulation. This is a huge mistake that we've been making when it comes to building energy efficient homes and we've been doing it wrong for over 50 years. The problem is that historically energy has been cheap and plentiful. Energy efficiency was not a top priority. So this method works okay if you aren't really worried about your heating costs. It's stupid just to blow in insulation without a top air barrier. But it's cheap and it's fast and too often that's the driving force even today when it comes to building homes. And you're paying for it every day. But you can easily fix this problem. Before we get into the details, you must understand exactly how insulation is supposed to work. Insulation works by creating millions of little dead air pockets. If you have ever heard the term R value, this is the measurement of how fast or how slow heat travels through insulation. However, the test is done in a sealed box without any air movement. So the insulation maintains all of its dead air and keeps its maximum R value. Unfortunately, this is not how attic insulation works in the real world in most attics. The biggest mistake we make in most attics is that we just blow or roll the insulation out and forget the top air barrier. Air can go right through most insulation. Think about what would happen if you took off the outer wind barrier on a jacket and walked outside on a cold, windy day. The jacket would be almost worthless since the air can go right through the insulation. The same thing happens in an attic. It's called convective looping, and it doesn't even have to be windy to happen. Cold air is heavier and denser than warm air, so the cold air in your attic will fall through the insulation almost like you were pouring water on it. The cold air settles to the bottom of the insulation and displaces the warm air against the sheetrock. Since heat always travels from hot to cold, the cycle of air movement and heat loss will continue. And the colder it gets, the more air moves, making the problem even worse. How do we fix this problem of convective looping? Simple. Just like the jacket, we need to install an outside air barrier on top of the attic insulation. When we do this, it's going to stop the cold air from falling through the insulation. Now, would a product like plastic sheeting work? Yes, it would help stop the air movement. However, we need a product that, product that won't trap the moisture inside the insulation, moisture that's trying to leave the house. This product is Attic Foil brand perforated radiant barrier foil. Simply install over your existing attic insulation. Attic Foil radiant barrier will do it all. In the summer, it's going to reflect the heat to make your home more comfortable and energy efficient. And in the winter, it's going to help retain radiant heat. But more importantly, it's going to act as an air barrier to reduce the convective air looping inside your attic insulation, effectively making your attic insulation have a higher R value. We have thousands of customers in cold or mixed climates. In fact, it's the fastest growing part of our business. And the one thing we consistently hear from customers is after they install attic foil directly over their attic insulation, that the cold spots in their home seem to be significantly better. We, some people say, I'm not exactly sure what it is, but my home just feels more comfortable after I installed the attic foil. Original attic foil is perforated. That means it has millions of tiny pinholes that allow moisture to pass through while still acting as an excellent air barrier. Attic foil will not trap moisture, so there's no worries about the insulation getting damp or mold issues. Finally, if you live in an area with lots of snow or ice, Installing a radiant barrier will help keep the heat in the insulation where it belongs. And that means a colder roof 
and less risk from eye standing. Did you have the aha moment? That's right, your attic insulation needs an air barrier on top. Installing attic foil radiant barrier is, a, is an effective, low-cost method to save money and improve comfort. Whether you do it yourself or hire someone, you need to get it done. Plus, check with your local utility companies. Many utility companies offer rebates for installing radiant barrier in order to reduce energy usage. In fact, some of the rebates are more than the actual cost of the material. So that's why you should install attic foil radiant barrier in your attic. Now check out the video on how to install your attic radiant barrier. Plus, I'll cover the most common questions and concerns during installation. For more information, visit the website, atticfoil.com. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button below. Or if you want to see some related videos, click on the buttons to the side. And don't forget to like this video. Thanks for watching.